Mm-hmm. Hey, everybody. It's the Morning Cryptos, and it's day 30 of the new year. It's day 30 of my 90-day challenge. I think it's my fourth one, fifth one, something like that. I don't know. But the markets seem, at first glance, still a little quiet, but there's some other stuff that I want to dig around in today. And I want to share with you a really key news source because so much of this market is run on rumor mills and FUD that I think since it's a little bit quiet today, at least I think it is, I haven't checked everything, but I think it would be a good day to check out a couple of alternative news sources and a process that I'm exploring of how to evaluate a project, how to evaluate a position in a project, and whether you want to hold, dump it, or whatever. So that's what I'm thinking about today. So let's, uh, sorry about the long preamble, but let's, let's start the music. All right, so uh, my process every day when I come to the computer and look at the charts is I start with Bitcoin. And I just look at it really quickly, and then I just grind through my whole list here. Bitcoin Cash, uh-huh, Bitcoin Gold, uh-huh, Dash, mm-hmm. I just kind of grind through them because I, I do better with a visual. Uh, a lot of people will just go to uh, Coin Market Cap or World Coin Index uh, and look there. I tend not to do that till in it. Yeah, I just gotta look through the markets and see what's going on. Um, so, like here's EOS. It's down today, but it's still still nice and high. You know, I'll take a quick look at Ethereum Classic. Okay, interesting. I'll just walk through. I'll grind through. Um, and Coinigy is a great place. You can favorite your the charts you like. You can you know click the star and it shows you everything. But the ones that you've right clicked and favorited, boom, you're good. You know you can you can just kind of filter out because there's so many of them. Um, and the 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 thing is to avoid overwhelm. <laughs> so like here's IOTA and it's sitting nicely on the. Uh, the nice blue 100 day average line here. Um, so this is what I do. I go through and I do this every day with you guys. Uh, and I think this is something you could do, right? This is not something I really need to do on camera with you guys. But I think today I want to share the next piece of my process. This is quantum here. Just, uh, just zipping through it. Going through really quick. Monero. Do, do, do. You don't have to spend a lot of time to see, oh, is it up? Is it down? What's it doing? It's just you get a glance. That's Zcash against Bitcoin. And here's Zcash against the US dollar. And then I just check in to Cardano. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, that's against Bitcoin. Cardano against the US dollar. Tether. Do, do, do. Okay, just hanging in there. Good. All right. So I, those are my main things that I check into. And then I, I obviously I go to the news. Um, but I've been frustrated with Bitcoin with with the Google price news. So I hit refresh here. Ethereum is quietly closing in on record price highs. Great. I'm, I'm not interested in highs anymore. I'm interested in where is a project that I can get in that's going to move up, right? I'm looking for that kind of stuff. So Ethereum, we're going to stay away from it. I stay away from record highs. That's like one lesson that I've learned really, really well. I don't trust those damn record highs. I don't trust them. It's nice if you can get in, see a headline record highs. Okay, time to sell. Boom, right? Uh, you know, and the independent or some of these other things, the Bitcoin price latest updates, crypto value, cryptocurrency value dips as South Korea, blah, 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 might be some more FUD. Uh, 10,000 dollars exposed, Bitcoin bulls fail to defend the price floor. So that's kind of opinion stuff, right? But I've found there's a better source of news, certainly than Google, um, although Google is always a good place to start. And it's this guy, Joseph Young. Uh, he tweets, he's a, an independent 
finance and crypto analyst, writer at Hacked Binary District, CCN, Cointelegraph, and he offers unique insights, especially in South Korea. Um, and you can actually contact him <laughs> via Earn, which is a kind of cool idea. Uh, and it costs 20 bucks to contact him. That makes sense, right? People contact me all the time by email for some of my other projects. And the expectation is that just because they contacted me, somehow I'm supposed to take my time and answer them. And I like this idea where it's clear. Hey, if you have questions, cost 20 bucks to get a reply. And if you're not willing to invest 20 bucks, then I'm not willing to respond to you. So I like this guy, Joseph Young. I think he has some stuff to teach us. Um, and so here's some of his news items, okay? This is three hours ago. Samsung, yes, Samsung has entered production phase of ASIC miners and mining equipment specialized for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency mining. This is unprecedented. I believe this would provide Bitmain its first real competitor. That's good news. That's really good news, right? And that's something that you're not going to see by just Googling you know, Bitcoin price, right? And, and this guy has his, he's, on, he's got his feet on the ground, his ear, you know, open to this kind of stuff. And that's all he does all day is look for this kind of stuff. So he seems like a good source, right? And again, don't take me as a source. Don't take him as a source. Part of this process, part of this revolution, this evolution is people no longer just being passive recipients of information from on high. This is about people going, okay, my money is too important to be left to the professionals, right? Peace is too important to be left to the professionals, right? Governance is too important to be left to the professionals, right? So uh, I like this. It's direct. You immediately get his feed. And there may be other people on Twitter who are kind of similar to this. And if you have somebody like that that you follow that really gives good information, gives you good insights quickly, rapidly, kind of like in real time, you know, leave a drop a comment below and uh, and share it with the rest of us in this little group here, right? <laughs> uh, so that would be helpful. Um, he also reports seven hours ago, Bitcoin transaction fee on blockchain wallet today is only thirteen cents. A fee below five, uh, a fee below fifty cents allows newcomers and casual users to efficiently utilize Bitcoin as a currency, as ten dollar payments can be made with a fee less than one percent. Uh, lower fees equal adoption by retailers and merchants. Uh, and uh, so that's good news, right? Uh, and here's one. <clears throat> My son had just mentioned something called Robinhood, which I hadn't heard of. The number of cryptocurrency enthusiasts waiting to trade Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other cryptocurrencies on Robinhood broke 1 million. The overwhelming demand for cryptocurrencies cannot be ignored, Right? Uh, and he retweeted somebody saying there are now a million people waiting for approval to trade crypto on Robinhood uh, at Robinhood app. Um, so we're going to check that out in a second, but I just wanted to just skim down a little bit more. 20 hours ago, he wrote, Starbucks chairman said Bitcoin and other cryptos is not a legitimate currency because it's not being adopted by retail. It's like, which comes first? The chicken or the egg, the cart before the horse, the horse before the cart. This <laughs> so this week, one of South Korea's largest e-commerce platforms and Japan's largest consumer electronics retailer has started to integrate cryptocurrencies. Oh, right. And the thing is, if Bitcoin is slow and expensive, what about Dash? You know, like what about Litecoin? What about Ethereum? What about any other crypto, if you if you accept one, you can accept any of them. All you need is a fucking address, and stores can do that. They have people who can do that. They just don't think it's possible yet, or they don't think people would want it. But the thing is, I have a decent amount in my crypto account, and I ended up just buying a computer with actual fiat, right? And I, it would have been so much nicer to just be able to do it with crypto. Here's my phone, you know, right at the Apple store, boom. So that's some that's some progress we're making. So I just wanted to share this with you. Um, and, uh, you know, 
just I can scroll down his stuff and go, oh, okay, good, you know, oh, you know. And he was the guy that dispelled a lot of the bullshit from South Korea and clarified it so that, hey, don't, don't panic. Here's the real deal. Here's what the mainstream media is reporting. Here's the real deal. So Joseph Young, I think, is a really, really good resource for you guys. Um, I've suggested to my team that they just start checking him on a daily basis. So that's cool. So the other thing I want to do today so that this isn't too long is I want to just check into Robin Hood uh, and I want to suggest you guys just explore this, see what it is. Uh, and my impression is that it is a decentralized exchange and that's what I think. I'm not sure yet. I'm just checking it out myself and there, unfortunately it doesn't say what it is here, but okay, let's scroll through. Investing now for the rest of us. Robinhood lets you learn to invest in the stock market for free. Invest for free. We believe the financial system should help the rest of us, not just the wealthy. We've cut the fat that makes other brokerages costly, like manual account management and hundreds of storefront locations, so we can offer zero commission trading. And they have disclosures. Uh, so evidently, Robinhood is a stock market platform and people are trading it. Okay? But they, I guess they're about to integrate cryptos. That's what I'm gathering. No manual needed. We've designed Robinhood from the ground up for the next generation of newcomers and experts alike. It's fast, dead simple, and just works. It's an app on your phone. Have you noticed all the phones, right? Learn by doing. With Robinhood, you can learn to invest in stock market, in the stock market as you build out your portfolio, discover new stocks through collections, track your favorites with a personalized news feed, and more. Definitely a great stock trading starter kit. Jerry from Chicago, trusted by millions in the USA. Uh, it's a member of SIPC, which means securities in your account are protected up to $500,000. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that, but that's okay. Uh, we can, you can also check out Robinhood Financial on FINRA's broker check. Okay. Uh, introducing Robinhood for web. 999,766 people in line. The Robinhood you know and love now on the web, available early 2018. Uh, and uh, I signed up for Get Early Access, and it costs you $20 if you send me an email. Okay. <laughs> All right. So check out Robinhood. Start paying attention to some of the news about that. And uh, the other little piece I'm looking at is um, I have some NXT. Uh, and I thought NXT looked promising. Um, let's just get it here. Uh, I thought, you know, I had this huge boost and then it pulled way back. Uh, and I think I got, I don't know, I think I got it at 56 cents. Um, I think, again, I was a little bit early. I don't know where 56 cents is. It's something around here, right? I thought I was smart as hell, you know. There's my 54. Something like that. All right, so I'm in there. And it's below. And the question is, I don't have that much of it, but is it worth taking a loss and buying something that I'm a little bit more educated on? Because I don't know that much about NXT other than they have spun something off uh, called Ardor. But I'm like, okay, so Ardor's on the NXT platform. So it's kind of like an Ethereum, but it seems like it's a next generation Ethereum. Uh, so... I don't know really that much about it, and I bought something based on the chart. I really didn't do my due diligence. I don't, I don't have the same confidence with NXT that I have with Cardano, for example. So when you're looking at a position where you might be, you know, in the market, but the market's below where you got in, the question is like, okay, where do I cut my losses and leave, or where do I hang in, right? So I think I'm going to still hang in with NXT because uh, just looking at the chart, we have very little volume here, right? So this might be one of those quiet times that you add to your position, right? If it's a good project, right? So we have very little volume. It's quiet. So I'm going to get rid of the volume for a second. Let's, I just want to look real quick at the averages and like, Three of the averages are right, boom, here, right? The 25-day average right here, the 100-day average, the 200-day average right here, 
The only thing that's above it is the 50-day average because that includes this big spike, right? So right now, it's at its pretty much average average price, which to me, and it seems to be holding quite well, and it seems to have a viable community, and this is the next spot, okay? So I got on their, um, let's see, NXT News. You can go to nexter.org, and you can sign up for the news and find out what's going on, and they have a really vibrant community. Stuff is going on. They're doing stuff, right? Um, so you can check into all that. There's almost so much stuff going on with NXT that I'm like, oh my god, there's Ardor, there's Ignis, there's all this kind of stuff. So definitely, you know, and then they have some tweets here, so you might want to start looking into it. And that's the thing, is it's a process. But you have to do it. Don't take my word for it or anybody else's word for it. I guess that's what I'm, I'm trying to share with you, the process. You have a mouse and the ability to click and to follow links and to, to explore these things. So pick one. Pick one every day, you know, and look into it. Uh, and don't make a bunch of decisions about whether to buy or sell unless you actually have some fundamental, you know, uh, fundamental ideas about what the thing does and how it does it and whether there's something going on behind the chart. You know what I mean? So they have blogs, they have Asset Hub, they have Marketplace, they have exchanges, they have Ardor. So there's so much to learn here, okay? So the next thing I did was, I don't know how, I, f I think I was just Googling, um, NXT, you know, is this is this a hold for me or is it a is it a long term hold? Is it a pump and dump? What's the deal? So, uh, this is from WalletInvestor.com and they have a price prediction for NXT, you know, based on whatever work they've done. And again, don't just believe them either, but their forecast is for a really good rise, not an instant rise but a pretty solid good rise. Uh, question and answers about NXT projection. What's the price today? Uh, it's 33 cents. Of course, I'm in at 56, so, uh, right? Um, will the price go up? Yes, the next price will go up from 33 cents US dollars to 77 cents in one year. Okay, so if I hang on for one year and it does go to 77, is that enough of a return, right? Is it profitable? Yes. Long-term earning potential, right? 133% in one year. Pretty good. Will NXT price fall or drop? No. See above. What will NXT be worth in five years? Uh, it'll be worth $2.39. I don't know how they get these answers. Will NXT replace, surpass, or overtake Bitcoin? No. Not going to happen. Will it crash? Probably not going to happen. Will it hit $1 US in a year? Not within a year. Will it hit five US dollars in a year? Not within a year. Will it hit ten dollars in a year? Not within a year. Okay, so so here's a project that seems solid. It seems good, right? There's there's a community. It is uh, releasing stuff, and it's pretty well being ignored by the mainstream. All right. So to me, that might be something I'm not going to jump out of. Now I still haven't made my decision whether I'm going to hold it or whether I'm going to sell some of it and buy something that I, I have more enthusiasm about. But sometimes it's like the ones that you just, you don't have too much attachment to. And then you're free to be less emotional about it, right? I, I'm concerned a little bit because I really believe in Cardano because I really like Charles Hoskinson because I've watched a bunch of the videos and the interviews with him. And I like his energy, his positivity, his intelligence. I like the, the team, the plan, all that kind of stuff. And I don't have that for NXT. Um, I don't have a human that I can connect with. And I think that's one of the most important parts of marketing these cryptos is like when you think of Ethereum, you have Vitalik Buterin and you go and you listen to what he has to say and you go, holy shit, this guy knows what he's talking about, you know? And you can believe in it, right? Because that's the next step. If you're going to hold for a while, you have to believe in it. You have to access all the, the psychological triggers in yourself 
that cause you to hold firm when other people throw doubt into your into your field, so to speak. Does that make sense? So I just wanted to share that with you today. That's part of the process that I do and that I'm beginning to trust more and more as I kind of go through this on a daily basis. So uh, I wanted to do something different today and talk about something other than the fact that most other cryptos that I'm following are just kind of hanging in. A couple up days, a couple of down days, a couple of up days, a couple of down days. And I think things are consolidating. I think we are getting ready for a new push because cryptos aren't going away. And even though there's a pause kind of right now, there's been a kind of a qualm, a qualm, a quiet calm, a qualm, a quiet calm period here. I don't think cryptos are going to go into a long bear market. I just don't think so. It's just like too many other people are learning about it and coming in. And the whole banking system is continuing to increasingly look shaky, right? And so I think this could be a really good time to take your time, do your research, come up with 10 projects that you believe in wholeheartedly that even if, let's say, like I bought Cardano at a dollar and it went down to 75, I bought more. Let's go to Cardano. Let's just look at it real quick. Um, you know, I bought it at a dollar. Right? And then it went down. Let's see if I can get this whole chart here. Where's a dollar? Right here. Bought it at a dollar, right? Because I was thinking, okay, there's a little pause and it's going to go up. And I bought on a downish day, right? But at the time, you know, we had higher bottoms. So I bought here thinking it was going up here, right? And then lo and behold, I got another lesson. So I was like, okay, this is the real bottom. Uh, did I get some at 85? I think I might have gotten some at 85 too. Right here, I thought, okay, that's a good price, right? And then it went down. And then I was like, okay, you know what? It's as far as it's gonna go, I'm gonna buy some at 75, right? So I bought some at 75-ish, right? And now, where are we? We're below that, but we have several bottoms that are higher. I'm on a dough, though, right? You know what I mean? So. That's the idea of laddering in, and I, I put too much in here. But again, 2020 hindsight, when you're at the market, like looking at it here today, you know, looking at where the price is here today, how do, how do we know? You know, it's below all of its averages right now. This is the one hour chart, remember? It's, it's below all of its hourly averages the 100 hour, the 200 hour, the 50 hour, the 25 hour. Um, let's pop in some RSI here. Boom. See what that's doing. It's touched down a couple of times. So using this RSI as a tool going, okay, it might be a good time. However, I got nothing left. I'm on vapor at this point. So I'm like, oh, should I sell some NXT to buy some ADA, right? Because I've got enough... NXT that if I just close it out and go, okay, that one didn't work, but I want in on Cardano at 55. That's the question. Is Cardano a much better project for me to be in because I know about it, I understand it, I study it deeply, whereas NXT, I don't know that much about it. Do you see what I mean? So that's the evaluation I'm trying to make. Um, and uh, I think that's it for today. I, I don't have a lot of answers. But I wanted to share the process with you uh, in a way that's hopefully helpful because if I teach you how to do it, it's way better than just telling you what to do. Do you know what I mean? So hopefully that's helpful. And if you like it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell button, share this with a friend. And if you like music, check out some of my other videos. I am working to upload a music video almost every day in my Life and Song project. Uh, and the whole reason I started trading cryptos was to raise money 
so that I could do the kind of music I want, so I could get the kinds of uh, video equipment to begin to make really good music videos that inspire people so that I can just put those up, put them out, share them with the world in a way that makes a positive difference. And so that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. What's your why? Why are you doing what you're doing? Why are you willing to put in the time and the effort when so many people simply won't? That makes you different, and that makes me deeply, deeply appreciative of you and who you are, and thank you for allowing me to have a few insights that I can share with you today. Mark Shepard over and out. This has been The Morning Cryptos, and stay safe out there, people. Think deeply. Learn, learn, learn while you earn. All right, start the music. Mm-hmm.